the two day notice came out of nowhere. It was devastating. Some people didn't know if it was a joke or if it was serious. When they saw a padlock on the gate, they knew it was serious. You know, you work hard and then you do everything right. It's not that you're, you didn't do your job. It's like the, 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 the big wigs is like, you know what, we need more money. said Friday, they're closing it down Monday, Tuesday. There was no notice, there was no no preparing for this. Giving them two, two days notice before they get uh, furloughed is uh, awful. It was a, a giant campaign of hire, 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 uh, not that long ago, and now people that have made the commitment to come to Union Pacific are now being furloughed, right? They didn't sign up for that. I put in Tom, training, reading, just studying, and making sure that I'm paid attention. And it's like, what, what was it all for? For me not to know. I don't have a job now. They want you there to do what you need to do, and then boot you. They want their money, they want you. They got what they wanted out of you, which is their money, their pockets full, um, and then that's it. As soon as they don't need you anymore, they just kick you to the curb. It'd be different. If, if these railroads are saying, we're struggling, we're bankrupt, but when you're making billions of dollars in profit a quarter, enough is enough. They're making money, but they're making money by cutting uh, yards off, cutting jobs. Record profits and record furloughs, imagine that. They will stop at nothing uh, to ensure the bottom line is protected rather than their employees and the communities that we all live in. They're greedy. They, enough is never enough. Enough is never enough. And it doesn't matter who they have to hurt in the process to get more. Taking advantage of all the taxpayers and their money, and then they turn around and take advantage of their workers. And it just doesn't set well with a lot of people. They make it because we go to work. <laughs> But they, they don't put it in our pockets. They just put it in their own. They take off, they put it in that CEO, they put it in the hedge funds. We don't have millions and billions of dollars, you know, to, to save, you know, we, we work every day. We help build the company, so it's, it's, it's sad. It's, it's really sad that this is what it comes down to. When you lose 200 good paying union railroad jobs in a town like Kansas City, you're gonna feel that. Everyone's fed up. People that have seniority are fed up with all this stuff. I think they're beyond fed up. Um, beyond uh, done with being taken advantage of. We need to make sure that we as an organization stand up for, for our brothers and sisters that are being harmed, that are being, that are being furloughed because they've done a good job. They've worked themselves out of that job and, and the company has no respect for that worker. It's great to know we got an army, a smart army, uh, that can defend uh, our members anytime we need it. Everybody's sticking together, whether they're still working or not, they came out to support those who are not working. So, I mean, it, it, it's a real brotherhood here. We're all one, and we all, we all fight for the same thing in the end. You know, you're fighting for everybody's family and their well-being. And, uh, you know, the safety of all those workers are, are what matters.